Hello there, main stage users. This is Bernie Bernalot, aka Treatment, aka Johnny Retard, getting to you here. I just want to um, show off my main stage project um, and uh, hopefully inspire you to uh, do something similar. The main stage users uh, around the world is quite a small group, which is sad because this is an amazing program and uh, it boggles my mind why more people are not using this. Anyhow, before I get started, I want to uh, give a special shout out to logicprohelp.com, uh, specifically some of the users there like uh, CCT Music and uh, Eric Cardenas and David Nahamani, uh, hope I'm pronouncing all that right. Uh, these are guys who have helped me um, solve some of these main stage issues. I couldn't find any answers. I was about to buy an Akai APC-40, which you can see uh, here. And the Akai APC-40 has been designed to work with Ableton Live. Ableton Live is a great program. Um, I kind of look at it, though, that I kind of feel like I've graduated from Live. It doesn't really do the kinds of things that I need it to do. Um, I think it's way cooler to uh, stare at a screen that looks like this, which is something that I've designed. I'm not going to show you any of the music today. I'm not going to demo. It's not what this is about. This is about showing you what you can do with main stage, not what about exactly about what I'm doing specifically with my creative work. Now, um, in case you're not aware of main stage, one of the cool things you can actually do with it is you've got all of these controls down here that you can see. Okay, you've got um, you can make your own like I've done or you've got things like this a foot pedal drag a foot pedal onto your thing or drag a bank of eight directional knobs onto your screen or whatever you want so you can basically build what you want to see on the screen so I'm going to give you a quick um, rundown of what I've got here uh, on the Akai I've got the first channel uh, first and second channel these first few channels are either an ultra beat um, or synthesizers that I can play live okay this is my live vocal feed this is my live electric guitar feed this is a synth bus where all my synths are bust this is where all my beats go and this is a master fader all of the clip banks that are are normally triggering loops in Ableton Live I've actually got to trigger my own setup here so when I press play you can see that the beats are playing and on this purple part here, down here, these are all synths, etc., that are pre recorded loops that are going to the synth bus. All right, very good. So these are all my beats, they're color coded. Beats are all blue. White uh, tells me that's the next section of the song, so I can trigger the next section of the song and it'll come in. All right. All right. And straight above here, I don't need to control the actual levels of the beats uh, on the fly. Generally, um, I have that preset. And then once again, I can control either beats or synths, guitar. I, I prefer to control what's going on using the faders here. Okay, other things that I've got mapped, for example, is I've got, these are all mutes. So each channel I can mute on the fly. These are solos, so I can solo these channels on the fly. And these I've designed to be bypasses. So for example, I've, as I said, in some songs I've got four or five synths, VST synths running. Okay, well, if I look down here and see that my CPU is getting ridiculous, it's probably because I've got these synths on and they're all receiving the same signal. So these, this allows me to quickly bypass uh, synths. And on the vocals, um, what it's actually bypassing here is it's bypassing the big effect soup that I use when I'm performing. So in between songs, um, when I want to address the audience, I can click the bypass on all of the special effects um, that I've got on my voice. Over here on the side of the screen, I've deliberately blurred this out. I apologize, but these are lyrics. So as I go between songs, uh, you can see on the screen here, uh, this is my song list. Um, I, my lyrics change, okay? So this allows me to switch up and down. Also, I've got, I'm switching up and down using the up and down keys on the keyboard. I've also got it mapped here on the Akai 
so that I can actually switch things um, switch things quite quickly and easily here, switch between sets.